Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk and today we're going to talk about the Advanced Sound GT3 in-ear monitor. The Advanced GT3 put it back in the box here comes in a really nice package uh, pretty typical of advanced as far as appearance white box and then you get your little slide out um, has a picture of the earphone has an explanation of the earphone almost dropped it here and then a diagram of the driver assembly and then on the back you get a frequency graph and as you can see uh, it has a slight hump and the treble and mid bass area and then you have a description of what's inside the box two cables a bunch of ear tips and a couple filters yes this has replaceable tuning filters which is a really cool thing um, cable wise the mobile cable oh. is a not a bad cable um, it is a slightly on the springy rubbery side and I don't really prefer that has a nice 90 degree with a little rubber and stainless steel aluminum probably aluminum and then goes to a fabric build goes to a strain relief and your split with more strain relief and then the rubberized cables um, <coughs> excuse me. This part here, where it's preformed, tends to be a little too stiff for me. I found it cut into the back of my ear just a little bit, which is really odd. Um, haven't had that issue before with any other advanced products, but this one just seemed to be a little more stiff. And then the remote is nice, plus minus, play pause, that type of stuff. Um, has a little slider for keeping your cables from tangling it's not bad it's just a little rubbery I was never able to get it straightened out um, it worked fine it functioned well phone calls all sounded well the remote responded well all that type of stuff it was just a little rubbery and, and as I said cut into the back of my ear a little bit didn't care for that the um, other thing is it did seem to have a little bit of microphonics problem every now and then you could really hear it if it bounced up against your your shirt um, or banged up against something um, so it was that was just minor but I mean it works if you only use it for that cable for mobile purposes only it probably wouldn't be too bad but if you're going to use it for all time um, I would recommend this other cable which is their silver plated copper very nice strain relief uh, nice and aluminum has a nice twist in it braid I think goes to the split nice strain reliefs again and then it has your separate cables are very nicely built very light um, do not twist like the other cable does and also the the preform on them doesn't seem to be as stiff and it's got a little bit of a sheath on it which is nice it didn't couldn't cut into my ears at all found this cable a whole lot more comfortable um, plus it's really nice looking it reminds me of the cable for the advanced alpha um, as far as quality build the earphones themselves are very nicely built very unique shape to them um, have a little bit of heft they're not the the lightest earphones in um, around but they they aren't heavy and awkward there was uh, a headphone that I reviewed the TRNs and those things were super super heavy these are not like that at all these are a lot lighter than that they have a nice build on them for the filter it just twists in And then the filter itself, very small, minimal, very easy to spin back into place. It 
and then the tip um, I found that the silicone tips go on really easy I actually use the small double flange and it has a wide bore on it and it just snaps right on I mean they're so easy to put on and then to put your cables on um, on the cable itself it has a little red dot and then on the one earphone it also I don't know if you can see that on camera there's a little red dot and you just take red dot red dot boom clicked into place and then the other one doesn't have any dots on it and you just connect it and of course red is right and so it just goes right in your ear you just hold it like that bring it into your ear and it just pops right into the hole and then you just wrap your cable around your ear very very simple very easy and they're very comfortable Oops, that one I missed my ear hole <laughs> they seal well um, I have my little heater running in my office today I can barely hear it it probably blocks out about 90% of the sound in here they isolate very well and if someone is um, talking to me or the cat is scratching on his door uh, you can barely hear it so I, I even though I didn't get to use these on a trip I would think that they would block out some very well especially if you had uh, music or some sort of podcast playing uh, you wouldn't be able to hear anything else very comfortable and I absolutely love the tips that advanced um, provided but I like the double flange the best as mentioned speaking of tips you get um, three bags worth of tips each one has small medium and large inside it and you get a carrying case typical advanced styling you have the little mesh pocket and then the tray to put your earphones in and you also get a wire clip which if you've never gotten an advanced wire clip they're really cool magnetic and they just slap together and very minimalistic made of leather and uh, do their job perfectly the uh, overall sound signature of the advanced GT3 is revealing and analytical they have really good speed and resolution to them but they do have a brighter sound to them as you saw on the frequency graph they do have a dip and um, it is a a hump in the upper mid lower treble and then the upper treble um, or excuse me upper mid lower treble and then the upper treble climbs um, slowly it's not a, a extreme peak uh, like Mount Everest or something like that um, that you're climbing but it does go up slowly they have a bright tur detailed sound than a lot of headphones um, if you wanted to compare brightness probably the RHA CL750 would be something in the lines of trouble on um, comparison they do have the different tuning filters let me get those out and so you have the reference ones which are the silver ones are currently installed on them um, when they come new and then you get this little bar and it has black and red black being bass red being treble and the tuning filters do not make a huge significant difference it just adds a little subtlety to them uh, the bass ones add a little bit of warmth and then the treble ones add just a little bit more detail but then the the rest of the frequencies don't get changed with either filter in so um, it's just kind of a little bit more of an emphasis and a little bit more of a warming up of the um, bass and lower mids with the with the bass filter on and then it seems the treble just adds a little extra uh, into that upper treble range doesn't really seem to affect anything else 
I used the reference ones. That one seems to, to me, have a more balanced sound across the board and seems fits my, my preference um, the best. These do have a slight mild uh, V-shape to them. The upper mids and lower treble, as I said, are more emphasized than the bass, but the bass isn't sucked out. Um, the bass to these is very detailed, very clean and clear, um, but doesn't have... Really, cat? Really? Really? You're going to smash everything I have over here. <laughs> um, the bass has a, a nice texture and tone to it. They're not bass head headphone, but they are... Um, they, they don't have a lot of impact and thump either. So if you're looking for a headphone that's going to rock your world, so to speak, you may want to shy away from these a little bit. But they, they can get you a thump and some real nice impact to them um, when called upon in the song, but it's not going to give it to you all the time uh, if the song doesn't call for it. Hopefully that makes sense. Mids are very romantic, very smooth, silky detailing, and just glorious. Um, they have that nice little little rise that just adds a little impact and a little um, clarity to the vocals. And um, instrumental music, um, country music, believe it or not, um, classical, and anything with vocal singing. Um, has emphasized some jazz and things like that really sound lovely on the GT3. Because of the accentuated treble, songs that have extreme treble already in them or high, lots of um, cymbal, cymbal work or, or really high brass uh, sounds can be on the verge of being too bright. Some people may say they're already too without using that type of music. So um, the treble is very revealing, um, very smooth. It's not an aggressive um, climb. As I said, it's a, kind of a slower climb, but at the same time, they do show off those details and that brightness area so just be aware of that it may not be for everybody details and imaging is amazing on the GT3 uh, if a detail is in a song and you, you've never heard it before you're gonna hear it with the GT3 if there's a detail and you miss it on a lot of headphones it'll be there in the GT3. For example, there's a song uh, by James Horner on the Braveheart soundtrack called The Sons of Scotland. And the very beginning of the song, you have some bass, uh, some drums playing. And then after about, I think it's about 12 to 15 seconds in, the whole orchestra starts to play. And there's a piano in the very far background. It's very light, very faint to hear. A lot of headphones you cannot hear. It kind of blends in with everything else. And on the GT3, you can hear the piano playing the melody. The only other headphones that I've heard that can do that are my Advanced Alpha, the Focal Elex, and the Grotto SR325s, and the Sennheiser HD700. Everything else usually just kind of blends it all together, and you can't really tell that it's a piano. But on these, you can tell it's a piano being played. Um, it, it'll do little things like that. There's songs in there, and so every now and then you're like, man, I don't remember hearing that. And then you have to get your other headphones out, listen to that song, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't hear it, or I do hear it. And so it's kind of cool. These show the details. They're very detail-oriented. Um, There's very little graininess. Every now and then if you get a song that's really, really bright to begin with, and then these have to reach real high and you have your volume up to high, you'll get a little graininess. Um, other than that, I didn't hear anything. Or if you're overpowering them. With certain amps, I found that you could get a little bit of 
uh, grit, grain, grain um, a little lacking in detail on amps that have too much power. So the amps that I have, it played well off of phone. I'll get back to that. It also played well with DAPs. So I'll get back with that. Speaking of amps, the AU and X7S and the Audio GD NFB 12.1, it sounded good. Just be careful on how much volume you give it. The um, Cavelli CTH, it sounded really nice, but it did kind of remove some, a, a few of the, the details. Every now and then on some songs, it didn't sound as clear, but it could be the tube coming through. And then on the APPJ on tube amp, also the same thing sounded nice had a little bit of warmer tone to it but you did miss a few of the details every now and then but it opened up the sound stage which is interesting because on these the sound stage isn't super wide these are more of an intimate headphone uh earphone excuse me sound stage isn't like narrow inside your head but it's not super far out there but depending on which amp you used could open it up a little bit wider for you and also change how many how much of your dynamics you got so they are kind of amp dependent phone wise um, I've used these with two phones I've used the LG V30 and I've used a OnePlus 6T the LG V30 powered them just fine on their own no need for an external amp and it sounded great with the amp with the DAC that's built into the V30 it sounded really nice the OnePlus 6T um, not as nice of a DAC or amp in it and because these are revealing and very um, detail oriented earphone it doesn't sound very good on its own in my opinion for the OnePlus of course you're stuck with a dongle which is a good thing because you can get this which is the USB-C um, dongle that Advanced makes which is called Access Port Lite and it has a built-in DAC and amp works great with the GT3 off of the OnePlus so um, I love this little thing it has nice sound to it very good details very good dynamics and just like I was saying with like the tube amps and stuff that opens it up a little bit more makes some sound this actually does that so this is a really nice um, addition to the GT3 if you need a dongle for your headphones the Cyan N3 and the Hi-Fi Min Mega Mini, which I have right here. Mega Mini and Cyan N3. We'll power it up here. There we go. The N3 and the Mega Mini both power it easily. No need for an external amp. Um, works great. Sounds awesome. A little bit on a warmer sound on the Mega Mini. And this is a little bit more on the analytical side but it's still very detailed and clean love both of them with the gt3 if you are going to use an external amp the only external amp that i used for portable use was the fio q1 and it worked great it does add a little bit of a warmth to the sound and uh, overall i found that it played very well the gt3 does seem to be a little picky when it comes to amps but not super picky uh, just be careful that you don't drive them too hard um, they they will become very sharp sounding and uh, unclean kind of sound and the details overall the advanced sound gt3 revealing an analytical somewhat of a bright sound very good extension in the bass smooth balanced sound not as impactful or slumping as some may desire mids are the smoothest glorious most romantic sound that i have heard on an in-ear and then the treble is so clean clear detailed and reaches to the stars and maybe a little too bright for some do I recommend them? Absolutely. If I could give them 11 stars, I'd give them 11 stars. But 10 stars for me on the GT3. Advanced, you did a good job. These are fantastic. And at $200, they're a steal and they probably could be more. So I love the Advanced GT3. Highly recommend them. 
It's been Dave with DBS Tech Talk, and I'll catch you on the next video.